Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is your boy Nigel. The name is spelled N I G E L. Just an African Guy podcast. Before we get started, can you please like and subscribe in the bottom left? Just go ahead and touch it. Follow us. UMTV. That is what you're watching now. So, with this spoken, I would like to start off about the National Basketball Association. That is the NBA, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, you know this. First, I would like to talk about the Los Angeles Lakers. Will they prevail? Will they will they get past the play-in to make it into the playoff? Will LeBron James be able to carry the team? I believe so because I believe in LeBron James. He's the greatest basketball player of all time. And not only that, will he bring back the glorious days that he did over there in Cleveland? I believe he can bring it back just like how he brings back his hairline. I do not know how he does it every year. The hairline pushes all the way back and it comes right back. It is like a, it's like the nigga is not LeBron James. I, what is he, an alien? I don't understand this, but that's what he does. Will he do this? And then the three light-skinned niggas, who, Stephen Curry... Clay Thompson, and now they have a new nigga, Jordan Poole. They are called the Bomb Brothers or the Splash Brothers. Will these three niggas make another run to the championship or will they get stopped by the Young Kings? The Kings have a nigga named Darren Fox. Darren Fox cut, he took all of his, his dreads, his braids off. Now she's nappy as shit, but he's a great basketball player. So with he said, how far will they get? The first game is tomorrow for the play-in. The Atlanta Hawks against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. I believe the Miami Heat can win this game because they are more experienced in the Hawks. Man, too many light-skinned niggas on your team. If you do not have dark-skinned niggas, you will not win a championship. As you can see, light-skinned niggas are not strong enough yet. They are not back. I don't care what they say. Light-skinned niggas are back. It is not true. You have not, uh, you've never been here before. Look at Prince. He was a great light-skinned nigga, a singer, actor, but he's too much a feminine. You light-skinned niggas is feminine. You light-skinned niggas are inside house niggas. Me, I'm, I was a nigga, I was not picking up cotton, but I was outside in the trenches, in the roughs, brothers and sisters. But yes, but with this said, let's get back. And the second game is uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves against the Los Angeles Lakers. Rudy Gobert, Goba, Gobira, Francois, whatever. What was on your mind? How in the world do you hit your teammate? And you didn't even hit him. That's so fast. Punch. What is this? Punch like a woman. His teammate looked at him and said, what is this shit? He said, I'm not even worried about this nigga. Then the other dumbass nigga go on to the, turn the corner in the tunnel, punch a wall and broke his fucking wrist. What type of shit is this? If I'm the owner of the team, I will cut all three of them niggas. Wait a minute. The first two niggas is gone. You talk, did it right getting rid of this nigga because he's soft, brother. These French niggas do not play no basketball, brother. They, they are soccer players. The, the French niggas play soccer. They should not play no football. I mean basketball. National Basketball Association. That is all is what I'm trying to tell you. And then, first and foremost, before I even get started any more about the NBA, I would like to talk about to parents. Parents, please look at me when I speak to you. I do not know everybody's situation, never will, cannot speak about nobody's situation because I don't know this. But if your child, four, five, six years old, is walking down the street by themselves, going to school, wherever they're walking, does not matter. It is a problem, yo. It is a problem here in this country, not just in the United States of America, but all over the world. There's motherfuckers here kidnapping children and you are letting your child walk down the street by themselves. You are out of line. You are way, way out of line for this. If you do not have a vehicle, brothers and sisters, grab your children's hand, walk them to school. If you have a car, wake your ass up, take them to school. Do not let them walk to school by themselves. It's too much shit going on over here in this world. We must fix this. We must be one community. As a parent myself, I will not allow this shit. Mm? I will walk my son with my lion right next to me because I will not have no problem. Eh? I'm telling you. But I do believe that Los Angeles Lakers would will, 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 will make it to, to the play-in, but I do not know if they will get past John Moran. John Moran is too much of a gangster. He probably will be waiting outside the locker room with a gun like LeBron. I will shoot your old ass nigga. Huh? Stretch that nigga out. His hairline went all the way back to the top of his head. Like, oh shit, it disappeared again. But I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, I cannot wait for this. It's most exhilarating. I'm more excited about that. But remember... The most important thing that I say here, do not forget about your children. Make sure that they are safe. This is the most important thing. But the NBA kicks off tomorrow. I'm super excited for this, and I cannot wait. But remember, brothers and sisters, my name is Nigel. The name is spelled N-I-G-E-L, and you are watching Just an African Guy. And please remember, not only that, Nigel has something also that I must tell you. 
You are now watching UMTV. Peace out.